It's time for another story. Which story are we going to have today? Shall we ask the rabbit? The big teddy. Oh, two teddies the same. Called Oscar Bear. Mm -hmm. Is it the black bear we should ask? Or the little bear? Or the big bear in the corner? I think I saw a book as I was coming past there. There's a book. It's Topsy and Tim go to the park. Topsy and Tim go to the park. There they are on the swings. And there they seem to be feeding some ducks. Ah, and this is where the story starts. One sunny day, Topsy and Tim and Mummy set off for the park with a picnic for themselves and two big bags of bread for the ducks. The ducks were pleased to see Topsy and Tim. Feeding the ducks has made Topsy and Tim feel hungry. Let's go and find a place to have our picnic, said Mummy. Oh, there's people everywhere, look. They ate their picnic sitting on a park bench. Topsy had peanut butter sandwiches and crisps and some orange juice. Tim had marmite sandwiches, crisps and apple juice. There's the orange juice. There's the apple juice. And there they are eating their sandwiches and crisps with mummy. Oh, and the birds are eating the crumbs. When they'd finished, there was a lot of rubbish left. What do we do with that, said Mummy. Put it in the bin, shouted Topsy and Tim. Hooray, and that's what they did. Let's go to the swings now, said Tim. I'll race you there, said Topsy. And off they ran. When they reached the playground, it was already full of children. Look at them all having fun. All the swings were taken. There's people on the seesaw, playing in a sand pit. Oh, look, there's a nana. And riding an elephant. And children on the slide. Hmm, what are Topsy and Tim going to do with all the swings being busy? Hello, Topsy and Tim, called someone high in the air. It was their school friend, Kerry, on one of the swings. Hello, called Hello, called Topsy, running towards her. Kerry's mum grabbed Topsy and pulled her back. Whoa! You nearly got bumped on the head, she said. You must never go close to the swing, said Mummy. Ooh, they all look a bit worried, don't they? <gasps> that was close. wasn't long before Topsy and Tim and Kerry were having lovely swings together, all in a row. Whoa! Whoa! They look like they're having fun. Whoops! Nearly dropped the book. Now let's have a go on the seesaw, said Tim. When they were tired of swinging, Topsy and Kerry sat at one end, and Tim sat at the other. But Tim got stuck up in, up in the air. Oh, I think those two are too heavy, don't you? The seesaw wouldn't work with all three on it together, so they had to take turns. Then they all went down the slide together. ooh -wee. At last they had enough they'd had enough fun in the playground. They wandered back to the grassy part of the park. I wish we'd bought a ball to play with, said Tim. Surprise, surprise, said Scylla. Oh no, said Kerry's mum. And she opened her bag and tipped out a big bouncy ball. Soon Tim and Kerry and Topsy were hot and happy, 
playing ball on the grass. Suddenly a big dog came running across the grass. It caught the ball in its mouth and leapt around with it. Whoa! Drop it, said Tim in a stern voice. The dog dropped the ball and stood wagging his tail. <laughs> Good dog, said Tim, and he put out his hand to pat the dog. Don't touch the dog, Tim, said Mummy. You must never pat a strange dog until you've asked the owner. It might bite you. Probably won't, but it's best to be safe. I wish that dog would go away, grumbled Topsy. It spoiled our game of football. Just then the dog heard its owner calling. It gave a cheerful bark and ran off. It's time to go, said Mummy. Topsy and Tim waved goodbye to Carrie and her mum and they all began to walk back to the park gates. On the way, they had to pass the park cafe. I'm very hot, said Tim. I'm boiling, said Topsy. Would an ice cream cool you down, asked Mummy. Oh, yes, said Topsy and Tim. Topsy and Tim and Mummy ate their ice creams as they walked through the park. When they went past the pond, a crowd of ducks waddled behind them, hoping for a little piece of cornet. Oh, they're looking for crumbs from the ice creams. Whoops! Oh! Sorry, ducks, it's all gone, said Topsy. But we'll bring you lots more bread next time we come, promised Tim. <laughs> They've got ice cream all around their mouths, look. <laughs> that, I think, is the end of the story. Ugh. Oh, time for bed. Here we go. Oh, who's going to sleep with me this time? I think it's going to be this black bear. Are you ready to bed? Are you ready for bed, black bear? Yes, I am. Oh, hang on. I need to sleep too. Oh, oh I'm so tired. <laughs>